I don't know about you guys, but I think Canadians deserve an authentic leader. I think the Canadian Conservative Party deserves a leader that can be trusted. Somebody who's not going to flip-flop on the issues. And I think most Canadians agree with me. But the pressure has already mounted on the next Conservative leader to flip-flop. To turn on the base. To change positions, change attitude as soon as the leadership race is over. The newspaper of liberal elites, the Globe and Mail, has already started putting pressure on whoever the next leader might be, quoting the former BC Premier, Christy Clark. And what Ms. Clark said, quote, I think that most politicians, when they finish their leadership race, change a little bit. He's a smart guy. I don't think there's any exception to that. The he that Ms. Clark is talking about is Pierre Polyev. And she goes on to give front-runner Pierre Polyev some advice. If Mr. Polyev wins, he's going to have a choice to make about how he wants to speak to Canadians about the things we share in common. Now, what's fascinating about this is that the Conservative Party is actually doing very well. Almost 700,000 people signed up to be members during this leadership race, compared to under 300,000 the last time around, in 2020. The Conservative Party is raising millions of dollars more than the Liberal Party and the NDP as well. So you would think that this is a sign that things are going well, that the message of Pierre Polyev and the other Conservative leadership candidates is resonating with Canadians. There's a movement growing, there's enthusiasm, there's passion, and yet the former Premier of British Columbia and the Globe and Mail want to deliver a message that the next leader should be a flip-flopper. It's worth asking why. What is actually to be gained by that? Why should we continue going back to a failed strategy? This is exactly what the last leader of the Conservative Party did, Aaron O'Toole. And what was the result? Trudeau won again. Perhaps Trudeau keeps winning because the flip-flopping keeps happening. Perhaps that is exactly how conservatives lose. They build no enthusiasm, no passion, no loyalty, and importantly, no trust. So I think Pierre Polyev and every other leadership candidate should completely tune out this failed strategy. I respect the accomplishments of Christy Clark, but on this one, she may very well be dead wrong. It's time for authenticity for leaders that we can believe in, leaders who we can trust to do what they say they're going to do and not speak a different way to different audiences. Canadians deserve that. And we've had enough of phony leadership in the Trudeau years. Mm -hmm.